What's good, y'all? Oh, wait, focus, focus. There we go. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction to Snarled Something Scary. Um, basically, what they do is is they do story times of you know telling scary stories, and it's animated, has a little voiceover and everything like that. You know, just like the last one we did, just by just by somebody different. So I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Original video link will be down in the description. Let's get right into it. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Juliana. Did you know there's a guaranteed way for me to read your scary story? Consider joining our Patreon, where I read and personally respond to a story by a storyteller member every week. Who knows? It just might sorry, make it into the show, show, just like today's episode, inspired by a campfire story submitted by Lewis. There was a summer camp that was created many years ago called Sunny Summer Camp. It was originally an all boys camp founded by a park ranger by the name of Sunny Summers. This story takes place the first year the camp became co-ed. So at orientation, the camp leader was explaining the Mr. Summers contest that was held at the end of every camp. The boy who looked the most like the founder would win a trophy and cash prize. A red-headed girl with long braided pigtails raised her hand. What if we open the contest to everybody this year? She asked. That's a great idea, Juliana, the camp yeah, leader exclaimed. Sorry. And maybe the judging criteria could be less about appearance and more about whoever shares the most qualities with Sunny Summers. Everyone around her began clapping and cheering, except for a boy sitting a few rows behind her. Of his course, name was Dustin, and he wasn't happy with this change. He looked like the direct descendant of Sunny Summers and believed he was a guaranteed win. But now that they were changing the rules, he was worried he might not. Over the summer, the his left. disdain for Juliana grew and grew. So the night before the Mr. Summers contest, Dustin asked his friend Trevor to help him with a prank. She didn't shit, give him any details, shit, just that he wanted to teach Juliana a lesson for having a big mouth. Dustin had been observing Juliana all summer and knew that she was usually the last one in her cabin because she would stay up and help the camp counselors clean. A what a suck up, Dustin thought. So they hid in the nearby bushes until Juliana showed up. When she finally did, Dustin jumped in front of her and told her that one of the counselors was asking for her and motioned for her to follow them. When the three of them had walked a bit away from the cabins, Dustin pushed Juliana onto her back on the ground. The impact knocked her out. Dustin sat on her legs and told Trevor to hold her arms down in case she woke up. Trevor had no idea what Dustin was planning, but he silently obeyed. He watched in confusion as Dustin pulled out a needle and string from his pocket and began to sew Juliana's mouth shut. Once he was done, Dustin grabbed Juliana's legs and told Trevor to help him carry her to Sunny Rock, the highest point in camp. It overlooked us. the canyon and had a gorgeous view and a horrifying drop. They hid her body in a bush and hurried back to their cabins. That'll teach her to shut up, Dustin said. Trevor was speechless, still house. shaking from the horrific act he was an accomplice to. Dustin noticed. Dude, we're not gonna leave her out there forever. We'll go get her after the contest tomorrow. The next morning, Dustin and Trevor sat in the back row of the mess hall where the Mr. Summers contest, now renamed Sunny Summers contest, was being held. The camp leader called out the names of each contestant to the stage, but no one showed up when he called Juliana. There was only silence, aside from Dustin's stifled giggles. After the contest, Everyone walked back to their cabins to pack their things. Dustin and Trevor noticed the camp leader running around. Wait a minute, wait a minute, time out, pause. Just, just real quick, just real quick. So you're telling me she has a cabin with other people, right? There's no way she's by herself. It's a summer camp. They, they have to be bunking with somebody. You're telling me that her bunk mates didn't care for a whole day where she was. She wasn't in the room at night. She wasn't there when they woke up. She wasn't there for the whole day, all their activities, and she for surely wasn't there for the contest. Nobody cares? 
Nobody. I'm just saying. Round in a panic, asking campers if they'd seen Juliana. Dustin turned to Trevor and said it was time to go get her. They walked back to Sunny Rock, but her body was nowhere to be found. Oh God, Trevor said, feeling sick to his stomach. You don't think that she... He pointed over the edge of the cliff. As the boys peered over the edge, they heard a voice behind them. Looking for me? It was Juliana. She was still alive. They turned around to see her standing there, but... Oh, shit! And blood. Her clothes what the were fuck? torn with twigs and leaves scattered all over. Her eyes were filled with rage, and her mouth was still sewn shut. What the her fuck happened to her face? Inside of their heads. I can't let you hurt anyone else like this again. Juliana lunged toward Dustin, which caused him to step back, lose his oh, balance, and fall down the cliff. I mean, that nigga deserved it. And although he quietly stood there, Juliana could hear his racing thoughts bouncing around in his mind. Please, 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 please don't hurt me. It wasn't my idea. I, I didn't even really do anything. Juliana took a step towards him. Exactly. Many years have gone by since Juliana's death. A monument was erected on Sunny Rock in her honor. And every summer, the campers adorn it with flowers and the sunny summer sash. Legend has it that Juliana still watches over the camp, protecting those who speak up and punishing anyone who dares to silence them. I'm Juliana. All right, guys, that's the end of the scary story by something scary. Um... I just I have a couple questions. How did she get like that? Like, did she get attacked by a pack of wolves and she got killed? She had a stick going through her arm or her fucking eye was falling out or half her face was off. What happened? They literally put her in a bush overnight. Like what? Like. Was her feet still tied? I think her feet was still tied. Maybe she did fall off a cliff and it's a ghost. I don't know. But there are some questions that need to be answered for their story. But besides that, if you guys enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos like this one right here, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'm going to pull up in that new thing. Feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing. Put you on some new